Thanks for joining us. In just the past few hours, Minneapolis leaders agreed to advance a plan that would move the police department's third precinct to a different location downtown. There has been debate over where to rebuild that precinct after it was heavily damaged during the riots following George Floyd's murder three years ago. Also released today, the results of a community survey that asked the community where they'd like the precinct to go. Kaya Edwards has more. Hi. Unanimous approval of Minneapolis Council President Andrea Jenkins' legislative directive to co-locate 3rd Precinct officers serving South Minneapolis and 1st Precinct officers serving downtown in a combined downtown building currently known as Century Plaza, located across from the convention center. Jenkins says the move would be temporary and would not begin until this time next year. Co-locating the 1st and 3rd Precinct while we have those conversations about the future home of uh, a permanent third precinct, if that is what is the community's desire. To try to find out what community wants, a survey went out in spring. Two options were given, rebuild at Lake and Minnehaha or build a new precinct on an empty plot blocks away for double the cost. Now consultants are presenting the findings. While 66% preferred the first option, they say many reported they did not want a precinct in the neighborhood at all. And some believe that they should not even be close to the current neighborhood where so many people have been traumatized. They say the report shows need for a more nuanced set of choices moving forward and that before a permanent decision is made, community wants police reform and a truth and reconciliation process. Many participants stated that a healing and reconciliation process is critical to the community members to rebuild trust with the city and MPD. Several council members noted the survey was flawed in that many people may have been able to repeatedly vote using different online networks and because mostly white older people responded despite diverse precinct demographics. Yet many agreeing results provided some valuable information. Council advanced a plan that would put over half a million dollars toward truth and reconciliation using unspent police funds from last year. It now goes to the Finance Committee, which is set to meet Tuesday next week. Kaya Edwards, Carol Evan News.